Time for the Way 31 Fast Cast. Let's get a look at the stories we're following as you head out the door. And we begin with Way 31's Rodney Ross. 1,500 people in one northwest Huntsville area now has power again. That's after a line vault caused an outage around 3.30 this morning. It took crews about two hours to get the power back on. Now they are working to repair, make the final repairs to that system. Stephen? Huntsville City School bus drivers say they're going about their normal routine today and not much is really being done differently because of the cold. I spoke with one bus driver who tells me in extreme cold conditions, they're actually told to come in a little bit earlier just to get prepared and management will start to warm up all of the buses themselves. But today was not cold enough for that to be the case. So regular routine here this morning. Uh, Bill? Cell phone belonging to this missing 14 year old girl from Tennessee pinged off a tower 140 miles from her house the morning after she was last seen. Savannah Pruitt was reported missing by her parents on January 14th from their home in a small town to the southeast of Knoxville. Both the FBI and the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation are investigating this case. This morning, a lawsuit was filed against the state of Alabama by a death row inmate. Dominique Ray, who's Muslim, claims the state is violating his rights because a Christian prison chaplain is required to be in the execution chamber. His request to have a Muslim imam was denied. A driver is behind bars this morning after the Madison County Sheriff's Office said that individual led a police chase that started in Huntsville, ended on Highway 53 near uh, Kelly Spring Road. That driver is now charged with being in possession of a stolen vehicle. Some freshman Democratic lawmakers created a proposal for legislation that would prevent government shutdowns in the future. Of course, the recent shutdown forced 800,000 federal employees to work without pay for more than a month. It also created concerns regarding national security. A lot of the furloughed workers are now starting to receive their back pay. That includes many people right here in the Tennessee Valley. But if for some reason you have not received your back pay, listen up. The Office of Management and Budget reports you should receive your check by Thursday at the latest. Today, there are a couple of lane closures going on this morning in Morgan County on I-65. Northbound outside lane and shoulder at the Falkville exit going to be shutting down at 830. Happening today, the brand new Kroger in Hartsill will celebrate its re-grand opening. A special ribbon cutting ceremony will happen this morning, just a few minutes starting at 7. Another look at your Way 31 real time traffic alert. The wreck that I was uh, reporting to you just a few minutes ago, right in Huntsville, this has occurred along 231. It is actually the exit ramp to Oakwood Avenue that is uh, the southbound exit ramp there along 231 to Oakwood Avenue. And it does look like we've got some delays in the area, so give yourself some extra time in the vicinity of that wreck. And also give yourself some extra time to scrape the windshield, bundle up this morning. 36 degrees is the forecast high. It's more of the same, you know, just repeat the process tomorrow. 17 degrees waking up on Thursday, but it's 67 by Tuesday.